Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the sweet, precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, today is a special day. It's a day for our, for our outreach. We are trying to, to move along and to do to visit some of the needy families in the district and in the community. At the moment, I've traveled with some of our girls from home, the Bushida. I've traveled with some of our girls and one of our boys as we are trying to do our outreach. Um, so we have visited this place. We have decided to, we have been seeing them for a long time during our our visita vi visitation. So today we have met this family during our programs of preaching and other activities. So this is where this lady is staying. She's talking with Sarge. Some of you, if you are ever following us, this is the lady called Sarge. And this is the place where this woman is staying. So at this time, life is not easy, as all of you know, everywhere. And here in Uganda, things are very hard, most especially for, for such kind of families, as you can see. This is a lady I will be trying to, to talk to her and ask her some questions. And after, we'll be sharing with her the little we have. Uh, Mm. Okay, so it such is trying to explain what the lady has been saying. She says they say that this lady she came here to take care of her her children. As you see, these are the children. They are in a very bad condition. The situation for them is very hard. As you see, you can also see their child behind there. She's a little girl. She's even shy, as you can see. This is where they live. I'll try to interview the lady and ask her. And this is a home for this family. Django to like come and show, because we cannot enter without your permission. I would like to see where she is staying. And this is her home, as you see. This is where she sleeps with her children. This is the home inside. I don't know whether the, the network is good and the picture is very clear. You know the situation, how people are living here. So this is inside the lady's house. And this is where she sleeps. You can see some holes in her house as you see very well and this is their bedding this is where they sleep almost the kids sleeps on the ground as you see you can see the situation she's living in this is where she lives i will take you around her house and see very well these are the family we always try to help as we take enough time to to see the place and see what is taking place. So this is her house. At the moment, this lady, she's a single mom, as all her children. It is really not good, and the life is very hard for her. Let me try to take you and see this one who is behind the banana tree. She's very, very shy. You can see she's hiding. Oh. So this is the home for this lady. Please just keep her in your prayers. So I'll be trying to interview the lady and ask her why she's having so many kids and why is she in this condition. I can understand the situation because always in my outreach I meet such kind of people and I was passing here all along. But today I decided to stop and talk to her. Okay, Mumbo is Abana Valiwa because you know it's a Muslim with Abana Valiwa. Abana Valiwa. 
So Chisachi is trying to ask the lady who is the owner of those kids. Bayogo. So Chisachi is trying to, to tell me that the father for this girl passed away. So the other one, I don't know how to explain this in English, but the other one, the other girl that the father came, as someone just came in the community for the first time, then the lady got pregnant and the mind just went away. So she doesn't know exactly where, where the, the, the father for the child is. So for the, you see this one, on the hand? Oh. Okay, so she it is hard to explain, but I'll try as I can. So Okay, so the father for other kids, the men went away because maybe the, the lady has some problem and she's mentally not stable by him. Because she loves this man and she loves another one. She ended up having pregnant. I cannot explain a lot. So that is why she is in kind of situation. Hello. Who's the owner of the other baby? Annie. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so the father for the other boy is also Chakobana. How are you? How? How do you live in this kind of situation? Tambula <laughs> okay. So since we are in our outreach, we do. So we are going to give you some food. Mm. Where do you pray from? Osabidawa. Mm. Okay. Abato. Yes, Do you know Jesus? Yes, Mumani. Do you know Jesus? Mumani, yes. Okay. okay. So we have decided to give her some food. The whole spirit with us. As you can see, those are our girls. That is all we can do. And we will be praying for you. We will keep on coming and feasting. Okay. So God bless you. We will be praying for you. So how do you sleep? Hmm? 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 Okay, it's time to give. She's giving her some sweet. Okay, Jesus loves you so much. Yes, Wabagala. You take care of you and he will supply all your needs. Oh, Yoyani, what is the name of that, that girl? Bamitan. Chisachi. Hey, and Chisachi, you have your, your sister here. Chisachi. Watch Wakeweka. Why are you hiding? Oh, she's shy. Chisachi. She can't even talk. So we will continue with our outreach because we are trying to, to take food for our children. Who